friends welcome back to all on law today i'm going to talk about usmle physiology topics that's usmle physiology today's topic is endoplasmic reticulum that's rough and the plasmic reticulum guys this is really very important topic for usmle step 1 So let's talk about this. Before starting a discussion, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. So generally, in general, the endoplasmic reticulum, that's a ER, it has two types. One is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth one, right? Now we are going to talk about the rough endoplasmic reticulum, and in the second video, we'll talk about the functions and the uh what you call properties of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum these two types of endoplasmic reticulum are interconnected and are continuous with one another if this is a nucleus i'm not sure whether i'm this is you can see over here so if this is the ribosomes granules okay right so this is called as a rough endoplasmic reticulum and this one if no granules are found that's a, known as a smooth endoplasmic reticulum and this is a nucleus okay guys so let's talk about rough endoplasmic reticulum remember the basic thing the basic rule is rough endoplasmic can change into the smooth one okay and the smooth one can change into the rough one okay so this is uh, it doesn't mean that the rough will remain as rough toward the life and the smooth will remain smooth as toward the life okay so now the rough endoplasmic reticulum the rough endoplasmic reticulum name itself indicates it's a rough or a bumpy okay it's a rough or bumpy right so rough appearance is due to the attachment of granular granular ribosomes okay on its outer surface hence it's sometimes known as granular endoplasmic reticulum okay now let's talk about the functions of rough endoplasmic reticulum functions the first important function you should remember there are two functions one is synthesis of proteins synthesis of proteins okay the rough endoplasmic reticulum is concerned with the synthesis of proteins in the cell so there are two types of cells that is beta cells of islets of langerhans this beta cells that is present in the pancreas of pancreas secretes what it secretes insulin so remember sometimes in your similar step one they can ask you the function of which of the following could be the uh, what do you call function of uh, what, secretion of what is the cause for the secretion of insulin 
um, by the beta cells. So remember the part of uh, what you call cell that helps in the secretion of insulin is uh, a rough endoplasmic reticulum. And the second one is second part of what you call the here not this second sorry A I can call it and B. And that second type of cell that secretes antibodies antibodies by B cells that is lymphocytes. Okay guys, so remember anti antibodies of B cells of the lymphocytes, so just you can remember the uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum, the rough endoplasmic reticulum helps in the secretion, uh, helps in the synthesis of proteins, that is 2B, one is the beta cells of RS of Langerhans that helps in the secretion of insulin and the other B cells of the lymphocytes that helps in the secretion of antibodies. Okay, now we'll talk about the second function and before going to the second function, I would like to tell you some important points. The ribosomes, okay, the ribosomes that are present over what you call, uh, present in the cell, they help in the arrangement of the amino acids into small units of the proteins, small units of the proteins, and transport them into the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, they help in the transport into the rough endoplas endoplasmic reticulum. Hence, the carbohydrates added to the proteins, they are called as, when the carbohydrates are added to the proteins, they are called as glycosylated, glycosylated proteins or also called as glycoproteins. Okay guys, right? which these are arranged to form a reticular vesicles they release to form reticular vesicles okay these vesicles are transported mainly to the golgi complex or golgi apparatus golgi or golgi whatever apparatus for processing okay for process it's like a kind of a factory or industry that works okay and the few cycles are transported to other cytoplasmic organelles so remember the small amino acids amino acids amino acids they form and they form what you call amino acids into small insect proteins and transported to rough endoplasmic reticulum and these are glycosylated with the carbohydrate to form a glycosylated proteins or glycoproteins then transported to the what you call um, um, this RV this reticular vesicles and they are transported to either to the Golgi apparatus for for the processing or to other cytoplasmic organelles okay now the second function of uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum the second one is the synthesis of what you call proteins that's a BB okay right beta cells of the pancreas and uh, B cells B lymphocytes okay so the other function is degradation of organelles one not organelles you can call okay degradation the rough endoplasmic reticulum uh, it plays a very important role in the degradation of uh, worn out uh, cytoplasmic organelles like especially like uh, mitochondria okay so especially the mito uh, mitochondria what it does it wraps itself around the worn out organelles and forms a vacuole 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 okay it forms in a vacuole what you call uh, which is often called as uh, this is known as autophage okay later it will be degraded by what you call lysosomal enzymes okay guys so these are the basic functions of the rough endoplasmic reticulum there are two important functions you should remember that it helps in the secretion of insulin from the beta cells and it helps in the secretion of antibodies from um, B lymphocytes okay and um, other thing is it helps with the degradation of uh, worn out organelles especially the mitochondria it traps around the mitochondria 
and it uh, forms a vacuole and it uh, it is autophaged through the lysosomal enzymes okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video was very help helpful for you and this is the physiology physiology usmle lecture videos Okay guys, so thank you so much.